hey you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is mink and this is mink's kinks if you are new here first off welcome sis welcome bro welcome friend i'm so excited that you stumbled upon my channel please make sure you subscribe and join our kinky crew fam but as you guys clicked and read by the title we are doing a wash and go with aunt jackie's so let's get into what i'm using real quick so today you guys already know i am jumping in using the not on my watch instant detangling therapy this is gonna stand as my leave-in i think it is meant to be a pre-boo but y'all know i like to try things so that's just what we're gonna do and then you guys know that i oil my scalp so i will be putting my little diy oil mix on my scalp and then to seal in the moisture i'm going to be using the alake natural shea yogurt you guys know i've been trying to get rid of this and i think um i have about two more uses so that is what mine is looking like mine is changing color so i'm just trying to use it up before it goes bad and then the star of today's show is the aunt jackie's flaxseed recipes don't shrink flaxseed elongating curling gel y'all i have been using this since i first went natural and i gotta tell y'all this gel is so 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 good it's been a very long time since i did a wash and go with it just because i've been trying other stuff and you know just hadn't looked back on some of the things that i love so we are going to be revisiting this i used to love it hopefully it's great um for this leave-in or the not on my watch detangler uh, i have never tried this before my friend gabby gave me this um i don't think she liked it too much so shout out to you gabby girl but yeah let's hop right on into it i'm gonna separate my hair real quick and then i'll be right back okay y'all so just for a little backstory i washed my hair with the eden body works um tea tree shampoo and then i just used a cheapy rinse out conditioner you guys know i like to detangle in the shower and i deep conditioned with the main choice peach black tea um deep conditioner i don't remember the whole name right now but i overnight deep conditioned with that so my hair feels really really good and right now i um just went in with the oil mix and applied that to my scalp okay y'all so for the directions it says unruly hair tangles and knots don't stand a chance against aunt jackie's not on my watch it eliminates tangles and restores hair to healthy moisture balance while protecting against breakage. Blend it with shea butter and olive oil to soften and strengthen hair. This fantastic detangling remedy makes daily combing, styling, and overall manageability a snap. Okay. And for the directions, it says apply a generous amount all over hair concentrated on tangled or hard to manage areas using a wide tooth comb. Gently comb through your hair from the ends up unraveling tangles. Do not force the comb through knots and excessively tangled hair. Apply more as needed and comb through small sections of hair um, until completely untangled and style as usual okay so it's basically just a detangler and it says to style as usual so i'm assuming that it can be used as a leave-in so that's what we're gonna do today um if i don't like this product i will probably just use it up as a pre-poo um you guys know that i love to pre-poo i definitely think that it help, has helped my hair grow considerably as for smell it doesn't really smell like anything if you've used an aunt jackie's product like they all kind of have like a similar smell and it's just like kind of clean but this is what the product looks like it's super runny so i'm just gonna take maybe that much and just apply this on section just a thinner consistency I'm gonna focus it on my ends just so my hair was already detangled so um I'm not really looking for that right now I can definitely tell that there is slip but I'm gonna use more um I feel like I need more it doesn't really feel like a whole lot going on so There's definitely slip though. So if you were trying to use this as a detangler, it's definitely slippery. 
and I'm taking half of this um, quadrant and it's just gliding through. And then, like I said, it did give my hair a nice little shine. Um, like I said, I'm gonna go in with my Shea Yogurt. So I'm taking about this much and I'm just gonna apply that to the section. And that's just to lock in the moisture, give me a little extra something. It's so starting to get a little cooler. So I want to make sure that the moisture is all there. Focus that on your ends. They are the oldest part. And that is what this section is looking like. So it definitely has my curls defined and shiny. And I think right now it looks like a good prep for a wash and go. All right, y'all. So I'm gonna go ahead, apply this leave-in all over my head and um i'll be back when i apply the gel hey you guys so i'm back and have the leave-in all applied throughout my head um y'all i use like half of this container it is only six ounces and it was initially up here and now i am about here so i used all of that um sorry to that man um, so we're going to jump right into this on Jackie's um, Flaxy Elongating Curling Gel. And as you guys can see, this one is just about gone. So let's get into it. Like I said, it's been a while since I have used this gel. I used to use it for like braid outs, twist outs. Um, and I know I have done a couple wash and goes with it, but it's been a very very long time so but i do remember that it always gave me like very voluminous hair which is what i'm looking for this time around so this is what my hair looks like after the conditioner the leave-in the oil and the um shea yogurt has sat in it for a little bit you guys know i take small sections i'm going to spray my hair down with water i don't use any combs or brushes when i do my wash and go i um, do like a shingling method i rake and i shingle so i have warm water on my spray bottle i'm gonna spray my hair i like my hair to be soaking wet and just make sure you're able to run your fingers through a little bit so that's what my hair is looking like with just the leave-in the water and the shea yogurt and then, of course, you guys know that I'm usually very generous with gels. So, I'm going to start off with about this much. And I make sure to get my roots at the top first. Because we don't want puffy roots. And then I just drag everything else to the bottom. And then I will run your fingers through it as much as you can. little praying hands method and then I'm gonna go in and shingle so that's what it looks like without shingling um, and this is literally all I do to shingle I just pull each piece down and make like an individual curl I don't know if you guys can see that I should have not wore a black shirt So I literally am just taking one curl and just pulling it down. And I'm just gonna continue um, doing this throughout my entire head. I do the same process all the way across. So yeah, y'all, I'm going to speed this up a little bit and I'll come back with my final final results um I'll come back with my wet results and then I'll come back with my dry results as well so I will see you guys in a little bit okay you guys so before I go this is the first section that I did and I don't know if you guys can see that but this is frizzy right here and I did apply a little bit more gel but it doesn't really seem to be doing a whole lot so I can already tell that this is going to be a more voluminous wash and go which 
I'm not opposed to, but I don't think I should have frizz in my hair already. So this is just what the first section is looking like. And the curl definition is there, but I need hold, honey. So it's all right, we gonna go ahead and I'm gonna continue to apply the gel, like I said. Okay, you guys, so I am back and this is the wet results of this wash and go. So that is what it is looking like. Like I said, it is a bit um, voluminous, so I can expect to have big hair. Um, yeah, so I did use a pretty good amount of the gel. I would say I might have about maybe one more full wash and go so that's cool but um yeah so these are what my wet results are looking like this is this side it's very very voluminous i'm used to using y'all know i love wet line and that usually has my hair laid and slayed but this right here is definitely a little something different for me i'm just putting a coil in the front because this piece always gets frizzy okay so yeah you guys i'm gonna go ahead and let my hair air dry for the day y'all already know um i like to air dry so yeah when my hair is dry i will come back and i will let you guys know any thoughts that i have my final review on um, both the leave-in and the gel and all of that so i will see you guys once my hair is air dry okay you guys so i am back and these are my final dry results Using the Aunt Jackie's Not On My Watch Instant Detangling Therapy, the Alake Natural Shea Yogurt Hair Moisturizer, and the Aunt Jackie's Don't Shrink Curl Elongating Gel. So, y'all, as you guys can see, my hair is very voluminous, which I'm not mad at, but this is what it looks like. Um, I kind of have mixed feelings about it, y'all. Not even gonna lie to you. So let's let's talk about each product. So the not on my watch, y'all. I don't really know. I don't like that I had to use literally like a third of the bottle to feel like my hair was moisturized. So um, I do think it would be a great pre poo. Pre I've seen these a lot in like TJ Maxx and Marshalls, um, where they're like the 12 ounce for like $6.99. So I would definitely pick that up as a pre poo. As a leave in, it's okay. Um, I definitely feel like the Shea Yogurt saved it a bit because the Shea Yogurt just has so much moisture packed into it um so this is a decent leave-in but it really set it off with the shea yogurt so would i repurchase it um probably only as a pre-poo so i will probably use this up i'll probably use this as a leave-in one more time with something else just to test it out um and then i should have enough for at least some to pre-poo my hair so um I'm not sure stay tuned for my next empties video to see if i will repurchase this or not right now i'm saying yes but it might you know might change and as for the aunt jackie's don't shrink um like i said earlier in the video this used to be a staple for me um i would use this for twist styles braid outs all types of styles so i did end up using about half of what was left in there so i say i got one more wash and go to go um until this is finished um y'all i hate to say it but i really don't think i would repurchase this um my hair is super super voluminous and there is a good bit of frizz on each piece so you guys can see that so um i don't know for this to be day two hair i i don't know like i just feel like my hair should have at least a little less frizz um i don't mind the volume whatsoever but for me, I know that this isn't going to last all week. And you guys know that I like to do my hair once a week and that's it. So what I repurchase, I don't feel like I need this in my routine. I like heavier gels and the gels that have less hold, I feel like I already have my staples. So would I repurchase this? 
probably not probably not but i'm gonna finish you know some more of my stash and if i feel like i want to come back to this then i definitely will but right now it's a no and that's okay i'm gonna finish this container though of course you guys know um i finished products so it's 15 ounces i want to say i paid no more than nine dollars for this i'll have it linked in the description box so check that out if you're interested but for me i just i just like a lot of holes so if you're somebody who doesn't like a whole lot of hole then this might be perfect for you because it's still i feel like my hair is defined and frizzy at the same time so it's giving me that perfect um volume but for me i just know that it's not gonna last all week and that's something that i require from my gels so yeah that's what my aunt jackie's wash and go turned out to be with these two products it's not horrible whatsoever this is i say it's pretty good but it's just not gonna last all week so you know do what you will with that information i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys subscribed and join our kinky crew fam and i will see you guys next time don't forget to turn on those notification bells so you know when i upload next time all right bye